this is what the God King would have looked like in the sixth and final World War II Zombies map back in 2018. It looks way more crazy than what we eventually got. The concept art showcases the God King having wings, more chains, and some other small details. So since you guys liked the video going over the concept art for the original Nuketown Zombies, I decided to showcase three more Call of Duty concept arts and pre-alpha pictures. But you know what is an even crazier concept is that you guys are not subscribed to the channel. Only 0.5% of people that watch my content are actually subscribed. Now let's start with some concept art and some scrapped items from Shangri-La, the zombies map from Black Ops 1. For starters, the map was originally going to be called The Temple. It is a pretty basic name, but it actually works very well for the map. Next, this is the picture of the original Sacrifice Pack-A-Punch machine. Once again, this 100% fits the theme, and I'm kind of disappointed that this Pack-A-Punch machine was scrapped. So the Wonder Weapon was originally going to be called the Shrink Ray, and it looks a lot like the Reagan Mark III from Grod Krovi, but also with the Shrink Ray, it was going to be the original Wonder Weapon with elements. You see, we wouldn't get our first elemental weapons until September 2013 with Origins. Now speaking of Black Ops 2 Origins, let's look at the Black Ops 2 pre-alpha concepts. So this is what the original HUD would have looked like. The score streaks seem to be on the D-pad on the bottom right, and at the top left, the minimap looks way smaller. This HUD also showcased is the team icons and the game score on the bottom right which that was in the final HUD but it looks way different in the concept art. Also in the screenshot you can notice that this is the scrapped heartbeat sensor attachment. It looked almost kind of like a thermal scope. Now one thing that I am kind of sad about is the scrapped RX-4 storm weapon. This looks kind of like a really fast firing assault rifle. It looks really fun to use. Too bad it was scrapped. And the final weapon that was scrapped is the XM-25 launcher. This was a grenade launcher from Modern Warfare 3 which was the previous Call of Duty title at the time so it seemed like it would have made a seamless transition over to black ops 2 so the final part of the video is going to be the pre-alpha image from call of duty world at war now this is what the creative class would have looked like it's very reminiscent of call of duty 4 which was obviously the previous title at the time here you can see some perk icons two attachments and all the sniper rifles that were in the game speaking of setting up your class here is a screenshot of all the perks that were in tier 3 now this looks very reminiscent of cod 4 but i believe there is three new perks in here that we never actually got into the game which was greased bearings water cooling and fireproof I don't exactly know what those perks would have been. Water cooling seems cool, like there might have been like swimming at some point in World at War, but I'm not entirely sure. And this is what the prestige icons would have looked like. Obviously, the classic 10 prestiges, but really ugly icons. So I'm kind of glad that they scrapped this and actually gave us the actual original icons that are so iconic. And finally, which makes me sad the most, is there was going to be bronze, silver, and gold mastery camos in World at War, and we never got that. So there you have it. There is four concept art and pre-alpha pictures. If you want to see how the original Nuketown Zombies would have looked like in Black Ops 2, click here.